Hey guys, welcome back to Biohacked. I'm Amanda. And I'm Nadim. And we are at the last episode of 2020. What a year it's been. It's been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a biohacking year. For sure. So we are sending you off into 2021 with a few of our personal resolutions to get started. Let's start with you, Nadine. 2021, what do you have planned? Well, I got a couple things. Um, first off, I want to be more in my circadian rhythm, and I want to make sure that I'm getting up early, and I'm also going to bed early so that I can function and be more energized. So what does early mean? Uh, 6 a.m. for okay. waking up, and I want to go to bed by 10.30 p.m. 10.30 p.m., that's yeah. a great time, actually. It is, and that gives me a seven and a half hours, which is usually what I want for my sleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What else? Um, I want to increase my water intake. So right now I'm taking about four liters of water yeah. and I want to increase it to about six. Six, you're gonna have yes. to get a new water bottle. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new water bottle. <laughs> and um, I think you were mentioning something about getting more cold immersion therapy. For sure, like we just did our cold therapy episode a, a little while ago um, and I've been doing more ice baths this winter. I just want to make it more of a regular practice rather than just doing it once in a while. And what about if our viewers want to join you in these ice baths, can they? Totally, just message me on Instagram and I'm happy to facilitate one for you. Okay. Yeah. And your last resolution? My last one is I um, actually just ordered a red light therapy lamp and so I would like to use that daily in addition to my vitamin D lamp and kind of do them at the same time to stack the biohacks. What, are the, what is the red light therapy lamp for? Red light's really good for skin, it's good for energy and it's also something, another wave of light that the sun produces yeah. just like infrared is and UV and so it kind of gives me the full spectrum of sunlight by using that. Okay. Yeah. So how about for you? Well. I've got a list of four things that I'm going to uh, do in the new year. Mm -hmm. First one is strengthen my frame postpartum. Postpartum because it's been four years since I've had a baby, but I've definitely noticed that my muscle tone and my back has changed. Okay. So I'm going to be starting personal training. Nice. And uh, the second one is meditation. As you know, we talk about this. Mm -hmm. I've never actually sat down and meditated, but I really want to start a meditation practice. Cool. And how often are you going to meditate? I'm going to try to do it, I'm going to start off honestly with about 10 minutes every day. Okay. Just sort of quieting my mind and enhancing sort of creative thoughts, mm -hmm. getting more uh, messages forward, and then move it up to maybe longer each day, but definitely keeping it in practice every day. Good. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Gluten-free. So I've, I've read a book, it's called The Wheat Belly. and. I don't necessarily have an intolerance, but just sort of easing off of grains and gluten mm -hmm. because I've definitely been noticing my body just speaking to me about... Inflammation, things like that, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And my last resolution so far um, is floating. So you're my goals because every time I come into work, you're always in the tank for at least an hour and a half. And I find that floating is always the thought process is, well, I don't have enough time to be in there. Mm -hmm. So cultivating that discipline. For sure. It's, it's a practice to kind of get that into your schedule. Yeah. Yep. So that I can transfer it into other areas of my life. Awesome. Thanks for joining us on our last episode of 2020, everyone. Why don't you let us know what your resolutions are? Leave us some comments below. Don't forget to stay tuned for our next episode. Please follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Biohacked, by clicking below. And Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year.